Hey friends, this is a brand new day, brand new key. This is a plus 16 click fall done with my viewers from my stream. If you guys enjoy it, I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, Kieran Pot's coming. Actually hungry now. Oh, we got real lust this time. Perfect. I probably should add the invis pot to my buff bar to try it next time. Alright, DPS at your own peril. And it's like House of the Dead here, and everything dies. <laughs> What's your thought on bears? Very sturdy tanks, honestly. Um, very sturdy tanks. Um, great tanks to play when you're drunk. This rotation is very easy uh, to play, basically. That's such a good trap from the Hunter. It's pretty pop. Oh, they're rooted. Should have saved my sigil there. Uh, but yeah, I think bears, pretty sturdy, good tanks, very fun to play in incarnation windows, two big pulls, giga pulls are fun. Uh, get this guy to 50%. Awkward. Alright, let's get this down to 50% as well. Alright, back to boss. Yeah, that's that's the that's the max I will actually um do with Plague Boris to be honest. Anything beyond that is just too complicated for pucks. You like the pick four out with four pick Boris? It's pretty novel actually. It's using the MDIs.
Oh, it's so good to have a real lust rather than drums. Makes such a big difference. It's a good thing to put stealth talent in Hunter if you don't want to buy Invis pots. Um, I would say so, yes. Like, it's, it's perfectly fine to run camel. I know my hunters, like when I push these, run camel. Probably need a stop here. Yeah, I'm gonna kite it the other way. Ah, right. No, you got it, Shadow. It's perfectly fine logic there. It's perfectly good logic. Range kick the pick binder in. Kill the sky. Don't AoE, just kill the pig for it. Anything else is extra damage that we don't need to spend time on. Oh, DK went splat. <laughs> um, BS. In combat <clears throat> with the other pig borer. Oh shit, the knockback though. That was... That's not good. Well... I think I missed one of them. Uh, Mage, Hunter, Shammy. You're right. Don't break it, shit, someone broke it. Oh, I'm gonna do it now. I didn't want to do it, because uh, I wanted to, I wanted to pull in the other pack on the canister. Oh well, it's fine. Just want slime AFK to the bind. Sometimes hunters don't have it when they don't have their pets out, I guess. Don't break it. Oh shit. <laughs> you gotta wait next time. Because I can't position it like that. You gotta let them come over. Well. Yep, not on the same page. <laughs> this is why advanced pick fall routes in Pucks are always complicated. Like, because, you know. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. The canister doesn't do that much damage. Shit, this guy's gonna pull. Nice grip. That DK on point.
Oh, I need to be res again. This DK is always dying to shades. Uh, Sire's not dead yet, Nox. Uh, we got to 30%. We saw the mirror face four times. Pretty good. It's good night of prop. Uh, you can still drag the mobs into the canister explosion. It's too early. And if I did, I'll probably have to eat the explosion too. Like, I couldn't position it properly. I would rather have them cross the river first. I do want to pull all of them, but the guy's padding around. How do you feel about DPS sandbagging the prime not using offensive CD? Um, I think it's suicide on higher and higher keys. Like, um, and that's why like mages are so good. It's like you know combust quick cooldown but if you are not using any dps cooldowns you're asking for it on higher keys like you just struggle be very careful not to pull the left slimes here like just be careful not to pull stuff It'll be okay But yeah, like, you'll quickly realize that in higher keys, you can't afford to be holding cooldowns on Pride. You just get destroyed. It's awkward. Like, timing and position. Alright, more yet. If we get another spawn here, that'd be great. Please spawn. Please spawn. There you go. Alright, go pull. Quick. Nice grip by the DK. DK is on the same page. How do you get the healer's mana percentage? Uh, healer's mana percentage is a weak aura, birdie. Find it on my FAQ page, just linked it to you. There you go. Healer's mana weak aura. <laughs> Had a wipe at 15 DOS where Boom King convoked only on CD, arguing why you didn't use it on Pride. Yeah, you, you, you use it on Pride. You definitely use it on Pride. Especially in DOS where you guys burn everything on the mask, right? You must have something for the pride. Because I'm guessing you prop like the mask and then you had the pride there. It's just rough if you don't have anything there. The healer will cry. Like boomies are not only for bosses, I think. That's the other way, that's the other way to think about it. Loving this DK. He does definitely, uh, you know, places stuff for me. So I won't convoke a pride. It's useless. <laughs> um, I mean, unless the pride is before a boss, then there's a reason to hold. Okay, this is this is awkward. Like, okay, like in scenarios like that, obviously you use cooldowns, else you'll be in a lot of trouble. Uh, but this is a test, like. Here is when we should use DPS cooldowns. Like if we have Convoke, we should use it and stuff. Like we shouldn't be holding for boss. Uh, but Prof O Skull and Mako 87. But but to your point, um, Kate, like if you see scenarios like that, we should be using Convoke like right now. Simply because, um, you know, it's either we wipe 
or you know um, the boomy gets to pad on the boss but we needed to single target the um what do you call that um Mine's blanking. We need a single target, a big guy, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but Mako87 and Prof Oskal, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Big thank you. Uh, Bring Vastine says, can't get over 4.5k. So I spoke to a few boomies before who like play like really, really, like, you know, um, it to a great extent, like a really high level. Like the secret is you want to squeeze in as small as many like convoke and CAs into a, a key, right? So um holding it for the entire dungeon. Like anytime your CA or convoke is not on cooldown, then you're losing overall damage. Basically you need to squeeze in as much damage as possible, that's what I'm saying. Uh we need to kill the slime later. But I'll hold the slime away. Make sure we kill the bomb. The bomb is more important. I'm even gonna use a brand. Okay, all good. Spinebreaker, yeah, correct. Zathroth 70, correct. That was the words that was missing in my mouth. I ported, yeah. Yeah, but 100%, if you're not doing a boss after the pride, then I don't know what he's holding it for, honestly. Don't say your Plato nameplates have two cooldown timers showing one is small and one is larger. Um, I'm not sure, I don't have it duplicated, but I do know that one of them belongs to Big Wig, so you probably might need to disable Big Wigs plus whatever weak aura you have. It sounds like you have a weak aura, I do not know. Uh, but yeah, maybe Omni CD. I don't use Omni CD either, but I do know that one of them is Big Wigs, like one of them is Big Wigs for sure. Right, kill the shades, then we'll cross. Kill shades, kill shades. Then we cross. It's in plater. Right. I think that's an option, but I do remember that big wigs will basically put stuff there too. Out. You blow up the giant first. Giant needs to die first. He died. He rest the DK. Oh, he release. Why would he release? Oh, in prison, I guess? Prison doesn't work. <laughs> I think I was on my monk. Get stun here or push back or something. Oh, I'm good. For the second pack, we need to kill very evenly though. Because that will give us Sprite. Probably type before we go. But yeah, the second pull from now, we need to kill it evenly. 
fight right there. Time to pet. He has no stun, I think. I save my drinker for the next pool. Knockback? Stun, maybe? Nice stun. Alright, this pool we need to kill. Kill evenly next pool. Wait, where did the stealth wings come from? Wait, what? Oh, we killed them. Okay, that's weird. Ah, uh, let's just kill evenly. I think we're fine. Got a nice stun. Alright, let's kill evenly here. It's really important. Stealthy stealth things, yeah, indeed. All right, we need more. We need to even out the damage here. Don't tunnel on the sniper yet. Make sure we even that out. Ported here. Don't let the DK die, Shami. Alright, I hope they don't die to shades here. It'll be disastrous. I have to use my fear sigil to stop the um, eyes over there. Oh, they can't tell. That's a good idea, actually. I used to do that in my groups. And then, um, I don't know if you remember, you were here for a pickfall run I did with Pucks. Um, someone pulled it while we were doing the two packs. And I decided. Maybe I shouldn't trust people not pulling CC mobs. <laughs> but no, that's a that's a viable viable way to do it too. One hundred percent. Um. So Marco, a lot of people ask the same question, like, oh shit, rip, rip pride buff. I'll let him be rest, maybe. Out of mana, he's thirty three percent mana. <laughs> oh, maybe go into that. Yeah, true. Um, but Marco, I think um, the 15 to 24 percent loss in magical damage mitigation, it's probably a big hit, but not sufficient to knock it off his perch yet. I think, like, maybe it goes from like being a, like a top tier tank to like a really good tank. I don't know. I, I think it's really hard to tell though. But the the same way I've answered this question throughout the entire night is basically like, it's not a deal breaker. Like, does it impact um, Avengers Demon Hunter's power level? Yes. But does it break the class? No, it doesn't. It doesn't break the class. Yeah, exactly like what Lotus says. Exactly. Wait. Okay, never mind. Oh, how convenient. Everything's grouped up. I guess I can pot here, but not necessary. You heard about the Palagos buff. Sorry, what's the Palagos buff? Or rather, what's the Palagos buff? Kiting is more damage reduction than that. Yeah, true. Fair. 
That's a good way to think about it. They can't tell. Good way to think about it. Uh, that's one over here, which is rough. Final chain Pelago Sobice makes you take more magical damage rather than less. Okay, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Uh, but you know, the game is still in beta, chat. So we need to be patient, okay? The game is still in beta. By the way, still in beta, the top pick. Um, the top pick for um, the guild name in 9.1. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, doing slimes first. You take the percentage as a damage instead of reduction. What? Who coded that? That is crazy. Um, Exo says, do you need to trigger all the spider areas? What happens if you don't open one? Well, he keeps free casting, which is really bad for damage. Like, that's a really bad idea. By the way, kill Skullfus. Um Gizmo, thank you so much for the sub. Super kind of you. Thanks for the support. Yeah, you can post links. Dimitri, go ahead. Like, honestly, you're not advertising for your own channel. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not as though you're like one well, of those people who come in and spam links. Um... But Gizmo, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Observer says, or rather Filipe. See, Observer, I remember your name now from YouTube comments. Filipe. Uh, but yeah, it's um, breaking 400 viewers is, is pretty huge. Thanks for the support chat. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Hope you're having a great Sunday, Felipe. Can't wait for the merchandise shirts. Hey chat, like, I honestly... Like, I, I, okay, I'll just be truthful with you guys, okay? Um, like, I, I do not know what kind of merchandise to even put up because in my mind, like, there's some, there's some place, like, whatever shop I use, it's just gonna use some, like, $5 cotton shirt and charge you guys, like, 10, 10, I don't know, like, $20 or something uh, for a t-shirt. And I don't know whether that's, like, the best way to kind of, like, um, do merchandises. I don't know. But yeah, I'm still thinking about the merchandiser stuff. Although like Chad has given me like really, really like great ideas about um, like slogans and whatnot. Um, but hey, but I'm, I'm, I have collated quite a bit of slogans about like what to put on a t-shirt and whatnot. Like Kek Smash being like one of the things that we can do like KEK Smash. No way, it has to be chair. Yeah, like a chair uh, meme or something like that. And um, yeah, but I've, I've quite a bit of like those captions that you guys like. Kek Smash, yeah. The Kek Smash icon. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe the Kek Smash emoji on a t-shirt, maybe. The Kek Smash one is pretty funny though. Uh, I can't remember who did it. Flipping, flipping from this community did, it, did the PNG. It's available as a as a sticker actually. Um, I think it's for subscribers. I think I can't remember. I can't remember the exact command, but I'll add it to um maybe like um FFZ and and whatnot. Uh, eventually. I can't remember the exact command. I need to look it up. 
Toby Thompson says, I'll buy one for my sister and she'll be like, who is this? <laughs> Alright chat, you give me inspiration to maybe do it. Last phase three. Last. Okay, never mind. I think he got my I think he got Um my hint, which is last in phase three. <laughs> uh, absolutely decimating the boss though. On the issue that later calm down. It turned out why there was Omni CC installed. It's causing a duplication, right? That you figured it out, clear tone. That's the most important thing that you figured it out. Actually, having pride buff for the ads. It's pretty hilarious. But I'm glad I fixed the issue. Probably wait for infectious rain before I brand. There you go. I can queue and pot it off though. I'll probably use it for phase three. Infectious rain again. I mean, a uh, brand again. The AMZ value, though. That's pretty good. Easy clap. And there you have it folks, a pretty smooth run. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you like my weak auras and my user interfaces for the Ventures Demonter, as well as for other specs and classes, they're all available entirely free. It's in the description below. And if you want to join me for the next Twitch live stream, you can also find my Twitch handle in the description below. And lastly, a big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for making this channel possible. And a big thank you to you for supporting my content. Have a great day and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.